hello everyone welcome to this session in this session i am going to discuss about the comparison of electric and hydraulic motor here electric motor which will be run by the electric power hydraulic motor will be run by the fluid power that is a hydraulic pressure and with a few points we can compare this hydraulic and electric motors the first point is that electric motors cannot be stopped instantly their direction of rotation cannot be reversed instantly this is because of air gap between the the rotor and the stator which will take a time for the stopping and reversing the weak magnetic field and the weak magnetic field between that hydraulic motors can be stalled for any length of time at any time it can be stopped their direction of rotation can be instantly reversed and their rotational speed can be infinitely varied without affecting their torque the output torque what is there the mechanical power without varying that the speed can be varied that is a very important thing concern to this hydraulic motor they can be braked instantly the stopped instantly how immense torque capacity that is a immense torque capacity is also they will have then second point is that electric motors are heavy and bulky they are heavy and bulky hydraulic motors are compact are very compact that's one those are called as a power packs that's why compared to the electric motors the for the same power they occupy about 25% 25% of space required to by the electric motor and weight about 10% you can see about 10% of the electric motors and by this reason we can use them this to getting the power rotary power the hydraulic motors the third point is that the moment of inertia to torque ratio is nearly 100 the moment of inertia to the torque ratio it will be 100 the moment of inertia to torque ratio nearly 1 for this hydraulic motors these are the points by which we can compare the electric motor and the hydraulic motor as both are the motors which are producing the mechanical rotary power for the various operations the next one we'll see that working of this here we can see the electric motor which will be work by the magnetic field there is a stator and the rotor inside and by the faraday's law when we supply the electricity to the stator inside a rotor will be rotates by the faraday's law and that is the principle of operation of the electric motor and here the principle of of operation of this hydraulic motor is that it is a fluid pressure when the fluid pressure is applied on the gear teeth by example this is the external gear pump if you take gear motor is taken as the example then the fluid pressure will be applied on the gear teeth and due to that pressure the it will force the gear to rotate and one of the gear is connected to the external that is a device which is to be operated by the rotary power and by the torque and that is as the application of this hydraulic motor and like this the hydraulic motor operates the hydraulic uh, motor is having the much more advantages compared to the electric motor and there the specific applications in some application electric motor is to be used and in some applications hydraulic motor is to be used and there we are going to use this is the comparison of the electric and hydraulic motors thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment